Yo, what's going on, yo? The Yahweh P Show is back for another, another podcast episode. This time, we delving into a new topic. Hmm. So, the topic of discussion, how should you approach a woman? That could be, you know, at a supermarket, at the gym, if you were at school still, at college, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to bag shorty for extra homework, you feel me? Or um, even at church. I like that extra homework one too. It's extra homework, that's a line. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yes, yes, so it's an excellent topic. So like, comment, subscribe, because we're gonna keep trying to fill you guys with all types of knowledge, intellectual, um, just Forward thinking thoughts, you feel me? That's, That's it. Forward talk. thinking thoughts. That's some real talk right there. Everything we say, ingest it and apply it. So let's get started. All right. All right. So check this, check this, check this. Yo, yo. When it comes to approaching, the first and foremost, most important thing that you have to focus on is confidence. Your huh. aura, you feel me? That is true. That is extremely true. So if That's your it. posture is slouching, the chances of you getting that girl, hmm. it's lacking. Hmm. If it's slouching, it's lacking. Those two go hand in hand. You so yeah, go you gotta go in. So yo, yes sir. For the first example, we're gonna discuss how you could approach at the club, <laughs> in a bar setting. We're gonna talk about how you could approach if you're in college and you're trying to bag um a classmate for extra curricular activities. Activity. Or I've heard that a lot. Yeah, or at the supermarket. That's number three. And then the last one is going to be um, for number four, if you're at like the gym or you're at some type of yoga class, because fellas, that's that's a key. There's a lot of shorties. They be showing their ass at the gym, too. At the I mean, gym. You're some tight stuff. I'm, the yoga classes, yo, don't underestimate crazy. it. They're all in there for the yoga classes. If your gym offers those classes, it's a setup. Me. They're there. And they're, they're trying waiting. to set you up, because I know. They're there and they're <laughs> waiting. Facts, facts, I facts. Love it though. So. Number one, we're gonna discuss, like I said once more, the topic of um, approaching in person at the club or the bar. How would you go about that? If you see a girl you like, you're interested in, how would you go about, one, getting her attention? Would you wait for her to come to you? Or would you kind of make moves to her? Or, um, you know what I mean? Right. Give, give me your take on it. Right. And what would you say? Like, what would okay. be the opening lines? So, in that case? That's, that's a good one, Pete. You know, once again, uh, Last show was great, and, you know, we want to keep these people, you know, entertained and open their mind, because we've been there. Um, this is a funny situation, yeah, actually, I always use that word, you know, um, funny. Because just think about being in a club right now. You're in a club just because you have one idea on your mind. It's either you single or you're going to the club with your girl. If you're not going to the club with your girl, then you have a, you have a, you have an intention behind your mind that you're going to the club to get somebody yeah, at the end of the night. Bag somebody daughter. And that's, that's reality right there, all right? Somebody but daughter it's, or son. The people who might you know be, what I mean? But me a thing. This could be a very, very tricky situation for niggas. Because niggas get drunk in the club or in the bar and they think that's what it is. Alright, let me just get some few shots in and I'll be confident talking to a female. No. Girls actually don't like guys that are drunk talking to them. They'll tell you right away, you drunk. I'm sorry. All right. So now, you want to approach a girl in the club. That's hard. A bar, yeah, club is hard. Because first of all, there's so many attention going on right there. The girl probably comes in the club. She looks all good. She got some tight pennies on. So every guy, every nigga just want to look at it. I look at her. So now, you... So you might be that one guy amongst, what, 100 or 200 guys in the club at the same time trying to bag the same girl. How can you stand out? Yeah. And Pete, I mean, in this situation, I don't want to say, all right, just go ahead and be the man and try to buy her drinks. How many guys have bought her drinks that night? You never you know. You don't buy bitches no drinks in 2020. Not now. So right the, com the, the, key is, the key is the confident. It's confidence. It's confident. You know, carry yourself. Go out to her and tell her who you are and what, what, what your aim is that night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, P is good at that, right? Yeah. I feel like a bar could be could be a little simpler because, you know, a bar is usually low-key, chill. People just want to get drinks set, you know, so it's easy for you to talk to a girl. But like a bar, I mean, uh, a club, sorry. There's music going on. It's music. So, you know, if you're in the club, you better know how to dance. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to just put it, keep, keep, keep it a buck with you. If you don't know how to dance and you out there doing the, um, as I say, the twister, they which is like one hand you. here, one like there, you know. You're not getting um, no attention from no females. It's not getting attention. You don't get broke. 
you're gonna look goofy if you can keep up with the hips and match pretty much what the girl's throwing at you you're gonna look real goofy ish on the it doesn't even matter screen. if you look good and you dress well a clown, gotta, it's a clown it's a clown it's a clown well said so you know what i what i usually do if i'm at the club or the bar and i see something i like i'm um i like what i like you feel me so i'm gonna pull up on it plain and simple i'm gonna come right on her side if she's let's say at the bar you know what i mean it's usually more quiet in reference to where the speakers are set up because mm -hmm. it's more of a social yeah. so you can talk back and forth with the bartenders that's the the in the, 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 the take and the intent behind how they set it up but I'm gonna use it to my advantage so I can back the shorty. So what I'm gonna say to her is I'm I'm like I'm like why you keep looking at me like that? Mind you, she looking at the bartender. She goes, I'm not looking at you. I'll be like, well, you are now. But what's your name? Conversation right there. It's, it's a conversation right there. Start up a conversation you right talk there. Talk about folks. anything. Listen and learn. Listen, you, yo, one thing that a lot of people don't do because they too busy staring at titties and ass is uh. the shoes. Oh. Girl got shoes. I I, mm, I approach mm, a few times. Mm, mm, I always mm, wear a popular. Mm. Me and yeah, we wear bands. Everybody nowadays is on the Vans wagon. So I see a girl with Vans, and I'm wearing my Vans. You know what time it is. You know what I'm time? Like, why you trying to be like, I'm like, why you trying to be like me? Ah, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like, you got the same shoes as me, but they look a little better on you. I, I'll give you that. What's your name? That's true. Now you in it. She wet. It's not, hey. She didn't even. You just got here? Nah, it's, you know what I mean? It, 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 it's an introduction to the conversation in mm -hmm. a more smooth, flowing way. And what, what gets me, what is so intrigued about that situation you just mentioned is you didn't even come in here about her looks or how beautiful she is. Because that's what guys just, on the get-go, that's what they want to do. But you know how many guys that have told that same girl she's pretty? You know what I'm saying? So now the trick here is you just, instead of you telling her she's pretty, even though you know she's pretty, you're going to compliment her and have her hands. I like that. It's simple. So, so for the club and the bar, that's what you do. Confidence, like we said, um, no only intent. Clothes. If you're not in a relationship, you understand why you're there. You're not with your shorty. It is more or less the back of shorty. So stay confident. Keep your um, head high, shoulders back. Trying. You know, look confident like you deserve to get any girl in that bar club venue. And then um, the approach. Like we said, don't go for the superficial. Your titties look nice. That's a nice ass. Everybody nah, nah, nah. nah. That dress that. looks great. Yeah, everybody everybody tells you that. that. Go for the shoes. Go go, go for the, the nail polish color. Go for the makeup, the blush. Details. Be, 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 be. What the blush love is that? Details, they you love that? details. Yes, yes. All so, right. no, well, we gotta, so, so, sorry to cut you off, my brother. So, no, it's just, that, that's just giving good ideas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just, you yeah, know. Yeah, so that, that's a club bar advice. And now the next one we're going to talk about is if you're in college now and you're trying to bag um, a classmate. For, like I said, once more extra curricular activities. We both are college graduates. Um, how would you go about that when you're back at school? Like former athlete, former athletes. What what exactly was your um the way you were swooping in? It was chill, you know what I mean? Thanks, B. It was just you know what you said earlier. It was it's all about the confidence, you know. Although you might be an athlete, you know, going to college and, and, and you you hope that all these females know who you are. It's not even like that. You still have to put yourself out there, you know. Um, back in the days when I was in college, uh, you know, being on a soccer team, um, there's a lot of groupies that comes around. And, and I hope, you know, the guys out there and even the ladies out there know what groupies are, you know. They just come around you just because they know for your status. Um, believe it or not, you might not even get a girlfriend out of that. You might smash, you know what I mean? You might smash, but if your intention is not right, you're not going to get, you know, a relationship out of even whatever. Um, but it's more about, you know, also trying to play your game if you're not really, really looking for a relationship. It could be a situation where you mentioned, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, you want to help me, you know, figure out this homework, this math homework, you know, for me? Or you want to come watch my game? I mean that was that was one of my what that was one of my greatest um, um slang that I'll use on the on, on the females, you know? Um hey, uh, what, how, what's your name? How are you? By the way, I'm, I must tell you, uh, I like what I see and I was just wondering, you think you'd be free to come watch my game on Saturday? It's a home game. I mean I would love that. You know, just a little few things like that. I feel like girls like they attracted yeah, to, to exactly, you know what I mean? So so if you're in college as a as a black man, you know, like me, there's so many advantages for you to 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 to, to, to be on top of the game, but you can't be too goofy about it. Because then yeah. they can always they can also look on the other side. Especially if you are like 
the school we went to, you know, you go to like more of like a Caucasian. You know, yeah, so white school. We, yeah, we're the only yep. black guys that stand out there. Yep. You so can't be too goofy, you know. Yep. So just to reiterate once more, um, like y'all said, just use your perks to see your perks. If you athlete, use that um that status to your advantage. Um, class work. If you need extra help with class, like y'all said, ask for the homework, and um, that's on that. So we already discovered and um. Tapped into exactly how you could bag girls at a bar, club venue. Now we talked about if you're in college. The third one we're going to combine, which is if you're at the grocery store or at the gym. The gym. Yeah, what, what exactly is your approach, let's say, at the gym? Like, how do you go about that? See, the gym is, the gym is, 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 is very, very frustrating for me. I mean, even tonight, I experienced that. Mm -hmm. You know, the situation where you go to the gym and then you see the same girl, same shorty comes in all the time. Wearing tight ass pants with bright colors on. Pink? You gonna wear pink with a tight ass showing every man in there probably horny as hell. You know what I'm saying? We got all this metal going on, our blood is flowing. Alright, we're getting high off the workout. It's frustrating, Pete. Are you gonna be the goofy guy that goes up to the girl and be like, you know what, I like you. Can I talk to you? I wanna get your number. Nope. Are you gonna get curved? So I'm gonna put y'all, I'm gonna put you. You said it's um something that you've been trying to work around. You see the bad bitches, they always do it. To be always seen. in the gym. And, it's and a look fellas, at me. Go outfit. to the gym if you want to see girls. It's a look at me outfit. So what I always tell people the smoothest way if you're at the gym or any type of setting where it's like socially inappropriate to be trying to step over boundaries, like I said, and go approach a girl. She's working out. She's trying to do her thing. So what I always tell people is you have to use the gym. Like we said with college, if you're an athlete, use the perks of the um of, 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 of your accolades. So if you're at the gym and the girls, let's say for instance, well, hypothetically speaking, where I am at right now is a chest press machine. And maybe 10 feet away, Yao's over there. And envision Yao is right. the girl. Right. She's doing another machine. You gonna go up to her, baby, and be like, be like, when you done, you can walk that down for me? That's actually goofy, right? That's not goofy, that works. That's not goofy. I said, but it's about how you say it. So I'm, I'm like, when I'm done, you can walk that down for me? She's like, what? I'm like, when I'm done, you can walk that down for me. And now she's like, she's like, you can wipe, she's like, boy, you better wipe it yourself. That's how you know she's ready. Either she's gonna say, boy, you better, oh. she's gonna banter back, or she's gonna snap she's and gonna be like, it. be like, why? And then mm, I'm just weird. playing with you. Enjoy the rest of your workout and walk away. You know that's a dub. Like I said, go off for of energy. So if she hits you with the banter, like, boy, you better wipe it yourself. You're gonna be oh, like, man. damn, that's crazy. You got all the muscle here. You feel? I work out. So for me, the gym is what I call my. It's like my safe haven. It, 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 it's a way to. Understand everybody in there is working on one goal that I learned to master. So I am like y'all said when you're in a college, you have an accolade, so it almost is like you're above the pack. You have a head start in the race of getting girls, essentially. Right, great head start. Yes, they, they they know you before you know they them. They know you so before you know them. You're in the door. So when it comes to the gym, like I said, banter. Ask ask the girl like, yo, be like, I'm not trying to be funny, but I can tell you should be an athlete. What did you used to play? Nine out of ten times, these bitches just work out because they want to look good. Oh, I never exactly. played any sports. Be, be like, damn, I need to get on your workout program. Be like, be like, we got to work out some time. Don't, don't hit her with the, how long you been working out. We got to work out some time. Either she's going to hit you with a, yeah, cool, okay. let's hang out on this day or, or let's work out this day. Cool, cool, I'll let you know if I fits my schedule. What's your name again? Cool, take my number down. If she takes it down, she's ready. She is. Focus. So you got to, like I said, play chess, they playing checkers. That's what you got to do with the girls. I'm, I'm serious, so... You gotta always be one step ahead of them because they will be decisive if they have to. They will manipulate you to make you feel crazy at the gym. Be like, this is why you come to the gym? Right. And so now, you, now you, uh, you slumbered on your right, words. Right. All you had to say was, be, be, be like, it's not even like that. I thought you were somebody who I wanted to get to know, but in that case, enjoy the rest of your workout. Yes, yep. If she stops you, you back in it. So that is pretty much, like I said, the gym game. Just use the gym to your advantage. Like I said, it's an environment for people to get better. So you either can take the approach with the, you look like you work out, I need your workout program, little joke. Or you could say, you're going to wipe that down for me after, another <laughs> joke. And then the grocery store, let's say for right. instance, we are up here in Boston, New Hampshire area right now. So a market basket, that's where they're most located because there's mm -hmm. nothing in Connecticut. So what would you go about bagging a girl at the grocery store? You never know, they might want to use you though. I'm just thinking about <laughs> my boy on my boy on some other shit. They might want to use you, man, because I'm just thinking about it. You know, I mean, you could be the nice guy, 
you see the girl, you like her, you can be the nice guy and just go. Maybe, I mean, I don't even know. Like, I keep mm-hmm. using that word. I say, many I say guys. fuck that sh- Yo, if yeah. y'all are nice, cut And now you're going to have to end up paying for her. her. Ooh. Hey, bro. Right? Yo, if a girl ever asked me to pay for her you first, you're not paying for her. No, you got you don't have to do right. shit. Back day, us up here, fellas. If like, you put your card in, you are a sucker. She can say you want to pay. It was nice. Yes, sir, she thought, but you don't have to do nothing that woman says. So, what you do at the grocery <laughs> store is the same thing with the gym. And if she look like she's in shape, be like, now, put the reference to be in the grocery store. Be like, damn, you look like you really could cook good as hell. I'm not going to lie. What should I make for dinner? You should pay my shit for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, what, what should I make for dinner? Be like, honestly, I make the same basic stuff. You look like you have some creations that I need to try. What should I make? And I should go into, oh, my favorite dishes. Be like, that's your favorite dish. That sounds good as hell. Be like, I'm not going to lie. You should make it for me sometime. Just like I'll be like, I'll bring the wow. wine. I'll bring whatever you need me to bring. That's but you nice just make sure you're there and whatever that dish was. Yes, and you're complimenting the food. It's kind of like, ha, ha, he, he. But you understand. And she understands now, like, this nigga compliment my food. I like cooking. Because everybody cooks to impress. Nobody cooks for whoever's going to eat their food to be like, that shit's nasty. No, so you cook, cook to impress. So now she's like, word. She feeling herself. Word. You want to try my food, nigga? I'm trying to try you. Ah! I'm trying to see how that shit feel. That's what I'm trying to try. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, baby. Yo, oh, P, so, my boy, P, I'll tell you. So so as long as they understand that, that's, like that's I said, crazy. yeah, go, go, go for the, what should I cook? Oh, you like a great cook. Like, what should I make? Don't pay yet. We're not paying for shit anyways. Don't pay. So basically, those were the three we had to talk about. Like I said, the club bar. Um, you know, we then chopped it up about if you're a college and after even high school, use the sports to your advantage. And then the last was the gym and the grocery store. The gym, like I said, once more, just everything has to be confident. Be confident. Go, go, go about the seat. Yeah, be like, he worked it down for me. Yeah, ha, he, he. If she's ready, cool. If not, she gets mad to walk away. Enjoy your workout. And then um, the, the grocery store, compliment. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, don't take this the wrong way, but you look like a phenomenal chef. Like, I need some creations. I'm tired of eating the same dry ass food. Spare me. She's gonna be laughing at this one because you made yourself vulnerable by saying, oh, dry ass food. That's a crazy line. Popping. Yeah, she's like, hey, That's a crazy your food is not that bad. And then you be like, be like, listen, listen, you know what I mean? I feel better about myself. I know your food is fire, so what should I make? Be like, matter of fact, what should we make? I'll bring the wine. Cool. She'll let you know if it's in or not. Off the rack, off, off the bat, always in time. Yes. You, come, come through with a wine. That, that's it. That's it. So, yo, fellas, like I said, you know, for us to keep giving you good content, we need your, we need your feedback. We need to know what Seriously. you guys want next in the comments. Seriously. We can talk endlessly as you guys see. So, give us a topic. We'll break it down for you, explaining how you guys can go about implementing in your life in a way that is fashionable to make you go from A to B, perfectly. So, like, comment, subscribe, add me on IG, at Panther Wisdom, and at Panther Fit Season. There you go, you know, and I said, also, boy, y'all stoned. If you want to get your fashion right, you know what I mean? And like my boy P said, just let us know, right? Help us help you. Yep, peace, you know peace, I mean? peace. Yeah, this bitch. Uh.